man. What's up, bro? How's it going? Doing good, doing good. You got a dope head, bro. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited. Yeah. Bro, uh, what are you getting done today? So, can you do a uh, mid bald fade and uh, I want the C cup start. Okay. And then for the top, how much do you think I should take off the top? Um, I'm not really sure, man. Let's, let's see how it looks um, as we're cutting it. All right. Yeah. And I want to blend it into the sides, no undercut. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. we'll blend it in. Okay. It's up to you, man, because I, I like the length, I like the curls. Yeah. Like, your texture is dope. Uh huh. We could, we could keep the shape where it's kind of like pop this a little bit yeah. and have the the curls okay. stand out. But yeah. I think what I want to do is cut the sides first, and All then right. and then we'll connect the top and see how it looks. You know, you can tell me if you want to trim some down. From All right, top. that sounds good. All right, cool. Let's do it. YouTube, what's going on, guys? It is Sunday, so we are back to the daily upload grind. So I said I wouldn't upload probably on Fridays and Saturdays just because videos don't really do that good. You guys are out doing something during the coronavirus, partying or something, and so nobody's watching on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, but we're going to start this cut off, cut off by sectioning the top away from the sides, and we're going to do clipper over comb to debulk all the way around. Keep in mind that my comb is creating the shape that I want. It is leaving the bulk that I want to leave. And so your comb is your guide. Your clipper is just following your comb. All right, so once we've done clipper over comb, we're gonna debulk the rest of it with this number three guard and it should blend right into the bulk that we left right at the ridge or right at the top of the sides of his head. And then, and so once we've done that with the number three all the way around, we know now that we're fading into a number three. All right, so now I have my number two guard. It's all the way open. And right beneath where I left off with that number two guard, we are going to go with our with our number three guard. I'm sorry. We're going to go with our two guard open and then closed right beneath it. This is called stacking guards. It's a great technique when you don't want to go up too high. You want to fade down and you want to keep the, the shape that you created with clip over comb or with block graduation. Great technique. So once we've completed that, we're going to do our bald line, our initial guideline, and prepare this thing for that mid fade where he wanted to keep the C cup. At this point, we know we're going bald to a number two. I was complimenting his hair like the whole cut that color that of his hair is 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 so dope to me so now we're going to use our, our blade all the way open all the way around and then we're going to start to fade out that bottom line so we'll probably if you want to fade down you can you can go from open and close it as you go down or like i'm doing here i'm fading up i'm going from closed and i'm opening my lever little by little as I go up by the time you get to that second guideline you should be almost all the way open with your blade or with your lever okay my cousin Tito with the beat as always guys if you need beat subscribe to Tito Beast the link will be in the, the subscription below subscribe to his website you get five beats every single month five new beats every single month royalty free for 10 bucks a month that way you got some music for your youtube videos you got some music for your for your music your beats for your, for your music like the area i'm working with right now notice there's like an indent there so i gotta keep that keep that in mind the rest of the fade i've 
I've been able to identify that. So the next step, the next guard that we go up, I know that area might be a little bit darker. So I got to keep keep that into consideration. All right. So next step is that number one guard. It's all the way open. do this all the way around the head now the reason why it's not leaving a such a strong guideline is because remember before we started fading we were using a number two guard so it shouldn't leave a super hard line it should almost blend right in considering that area is a number two but because there is a line like a subtle line we're gonna grab this one and a half guard all the way open and we're gonna start to blend that area We'll close the one and a half guard as needed until that subtle line is completely gone. And so once we've done this all the way around, you have one more guideline that you see below the area I'm working on. And that guideline was created with the blade open going into the one open. So that guideline we're gonna erase with the half guard. Once we're done with this one and a half. But you guys can see it's starting to come together, it's starting to look a little blurry here. we are with the half guard so I started I started I think about halfway open and uh, little by little we're closing so now it's probably you know quarter of the way closed right there I went back to halfway open and then as you close it more that line starts to really go away and that blend starts to come together look at that blurry His hair is so dope because it's not like a really light orange. It's like a red orange. You know what I mean? Like, and it gets dark so you can still get a nice gradient fade. And then the texture of his hair, the curls, it's just, it's just, it's like a dark red. A dark red. Yeah, like a dark red. Like. Amazing hair color. All right, so at this point, you know, I'm going back to my blade open, and I'm just detailing in, in specific areas, closing it where where needed, jumping back to the half guard. Again, I'm just detailing. All right, and we're gonna do the same steps on this side. So I was gonna drop a vlog today, but I, I made a poll on my YouTube channel on, in the community section asking, you know, what do y'all wanna see today? And 70, I wanna say 71%, 72% of y'all voted tutorial. So that vlog will have to wait.
All right, so at this point, again, we are detailing like we did on the other side. Tito, let's get it. Like I tell you guys, you have to finish with the shaver. We gotta get it as tight as possible on the sides to get the full gradients that we're looking for as light as possible on the bottom, but it also adds longevity. It just feels good. Like, the, like, like when it's super bald, there's no hair stubble. It feels good. At least when I get a bald fade, it feels good to me. All right, so we've completed the sides and after looking at the top, um, I just feel like it needed a little bit of a connection, so um, we are going to do block graduation all the way through, pulling the hair down to the perimeter on the sides. The perimeter is the longest length of hair on the sides, um, and so we're going to pull all the hair down little by little and connect any hair that wants to hang over. Now I'm starting to connect the fringe. You know, that's the hair that, you know, sits in the front of his head. Now we're gonna go ahead and trim the top. So pretty much I'm using, you know, what I connected to the baseline or to the perimeter, I should say, um, as my guide to cut the top because we don't want it to look like a faux hawk, right? So we have to flatten it up on the top, square it off on the top. So that's what we're doing. We're trimming it straight across, not taking too much off, but enough to where it it uh, it looks good with what we did connecting the top to the sides. All right, so now we're gonna style it. I'm gonna put some, uh, what I put in this hair? I can't remember what I put in this hair. It was probably like clay, to be honest. Damn it, Tito. All right, so. We'll let it air dry. We'll let the curls air dry. And now we're just gonna do some detail work, man. All right. Is this detail work necessary? Probably not, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the haircut, you know, to look good. <laughs> so I'm using my new trimmers here, my custom FX's. Which I love. Some of y'all calling them boogers, but I love them. And he wanted he wanted his lineup to be natural, so I didn't overdo it at the vertical bars. But he did say he wanted that that C cup. He said he wanted it, so that I made sure was nice and defined. So guys, this is the before. Look at the after. Look at the after. Blurry sheesh. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all watching the channel, man. If you're new, please do subscribe. If you guys like the cut, let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button. Like always, I appreciate y'all checking out the content, man. We got daily uploads in the chamber. So look out for these next videos.